the following program contains situations, material, and or language that is not suitable for all listeners. Viewer discretion is advised. The following program is brought to you by Pizza Productions. Podcast no one listens to with Kevin Porter. Nice. Nice. Podcast no one listens to. Welcome back to the podcast that no one listens to. I'm your host, Kevin Porter. Back for another week that was my life. It's a toasty 80 degrees outside here on. June the 18th, as this episode drops. Could be June the 17th. You would never know. It's a podcast. I have a healthy mind today. Feeling good. Feeling strong. Like I could pick up the world and body slam it. <laughs> Imagine that. Picking up the world and body slamming it. What kind of crazy thing is that, man? But then you stop and realize you put your mind to work. You tell yourself that one day you will be strong enough and you will body slam this earth. Okay? Believe me, Kevin Porter, June 18th, warm 80 degrees outside here on this lovely, lovely Friday. Oh, shit, dude. That's where we need the fucking soundboard, dude. It's like, whoa, who wants to listen to that piece of shit? That's the alternate universe of Kevin Porter on NPR, and you want to stab that motherfucker right in the throat. Ah, 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 ah. So it's like, whoa, that went, from, that went from a solid 10 to a fucking 95 in 2.568 of a second. Then we just drop it right back down. Is your penis hard? <gasps> it's assuming you have a penis. You could have a vagina. You could have a vagina and a penis. I would never know because this is a podcast. <laughs> I don't know. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Kevin Porter back for another week. That was uh, again, your life, my life, everybody's life uh, here on a warm 80 degree. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> we're fucking done, dude. I'm losing my mind, man. I'm losing my mind back uh, for another week. That was uh, feeling pretty good, dude. I don't, I'm not lying. My mind feels good. Um, uh, I, again, man, it's, it's just been another week, dude, uh, working on getting my stand up comedy back on, dude. I, uh, worked on about 10 different little bits this week, dude. I plugged in my, uh, microphone with my amp in the corner and I sat around, uh, the last couple afternoons, just kind of fucking banging some shit back and forth and writing stuff down and repeating everything and repeating everything and memorizing this shit. And it's like, you know, adding and taking away. And I, I you know, I was, I was all ready to go for some stand-up comedy this week. Turns out there was no stand-up comedy at open at drinking games this week. So I drove all the way down there for fucking nothing. Because apparently they're, they're, they were going to be moving to a Tuesday, but apparently are staying on a Wednesday. I don't fucking know. Life is confusing these days if you're a stand-up comic here in Yakima, Washington, which I use stand-up comic very lightly. <laughs> you stand up and you are just not a comic yet, sir. You are a stand-up. Stand up person, okay? That's all you are. Uh, I don't know, dude, but I've been, I feel good though. I feel good to like commit everything to memory and just kind of get back into the swing of things. Like, you know, I have like a shit ton of bits written down, dude. I just got to sit down and like put them all together, dude. So we're slowly working on it. Uh, Definitely going to be getting on stage every week moving forward, dude. So I'm looking forward to that, honestly. I think that's like one thing that I'm 100% looking forward to. I'm trying to commit my days after work as my like okay this is the be all end all like my life depends on it type shit like i have to get work done you know i'm like making sure that i get my work done so that means exercise means just fucking whatever chores i gotta do around the fucking house and just being excited to do it and then also working on my projects dude which we took a big fucking step forward this week uh getting all the equipment together that we need for this new youtube channel uh which we're not, I'm not starting a new YouTube channel. I don't know if you, if you watch this on YouTube, you notice that we changed 
the the YouTube uh, page name from the podcast that no one listens to. Just straight up to Kevin Porter, man. We're just regular, regular the old Kevin Porter now. Which if you type in Kevin Porter Yakima, the only thing that shows up is that fucking NBA player for the Houston Rock- Rockets, dude, Kevin Porter Jr. Uh, so shout out, shout out to that guy, my favorite. NBA player, that's for fucking sure. So uh, Jack Hennessy, uh, you know, frequent guest here on the podcast that no one listens to. Got to invite that guy back on here sometime. Um, he met that guy and like straight up texted me. He was like, "Yo, dude, met up with Kevin Porter Jr. today." I was like, "Oh yeah, did you guys get fucking lunch?" He's like, "Haha, funny motherfucker." So uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of cool that you have like you know straight up like a current NBA player, which I think he got drafted by the Cavs. Like I'm pretty sure we talked about this guy on the podcast before but you know whatever dude so he's a way more famous kevin porter than i will probably ever be it's like you should never use famous in your and your first name and last name ever again you want to use the word samuel sure okay i don't know dude uh like i said dude i'm just um i'm feeling good though like i said working on projects man we're getting the we're getting all the equipment put together dude um I pretty much i got the idea down we got everything set dude now the the work just begins just putting it all together uh, figuring out what, you know, movies to cover. It's like, that's kind of the one thing. It's like, what's going to be the first video? It's like, well, the first video is going to suck a hundred percent. But so it's like, you don't want to pick out something super fucking cool. Like I was thinking like Halloween or Nightmare on Elm Street, but it's like, nah, I think we're going to have to dial it back maybe just a little bit. So I got an idea um, and I, I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, it's going to, it's going to kind of implore um, things that we, I used to do on Spoons to Become Porter, you know, maybe a sketch here and there, but like primarily it's just going to be me on, you know, my green screen, fucking just talking some shit about some movies, man. You know, like little quick cuts, you know, here and there. And I don't know, man, I think we're going to be able to put out some cool videos, dude. So uh, the goal is right now to, you know, get at least four of those done and then we'll drop it. So probably we're looking at, I don't know. I don't know. Cause I, it really, it's really just going to depend on how long it takes me to produce one of these videos. Cause you think maybe like a week to produce it. I don't know. Cause you got to sit down you know, watch the movie, take notes. Then you got to, you know, think of like an intro sketch. You got to fucking film that intro sketch, which I could probably do this all in a weekend. You know, it's not even like, it's not even like this is going to be that difficult in that terms. You know, it's all just DIY. So I don't know. Maybe I can get an episode done a week, but it's like, oh, maybe we can do two a week. I don't know. But all that shit, you're going to hear about it right here on this YouTube page. So if you're, if you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, I highly suggest that you do so now. Um, I know a lot of like, things are up in the air it's like what are we doing with the podcast man it's like I've, I've, I've gone back and forth it's like do we like continue with the podcast that no one listens to uh have we have we did we hit our peak last year and we've just been slowly declining into uh you know <laughs> you know nothing <laughs> you know uh i don't know man so it's it i think you know again you know changing the name on the youtube page is a big step of just like okay we're going to produce lots of things and we're all going to do it in house we're all going to do it under this one youtube film uh page so it's like okay just definitely want to try to do different things um again like we can do different podcasts um i don't know cuz like we talked about it man it's like doing like a south park retrospective of some sort it's like i i kind of came up with a name for that so it's like again like do i want to do it all by myself though it's like i think we need a co-host i think we need a co-host so if you're if you're a friend of mine and you're listening and you're like hey man I want to commit myself to a weekly podcast and watching South Park and bullshitting with you. Uh, hit me up. You, you got the email address in the fucking show notes. So um, maybe something will come of it. Maybe something won't. I don't know. I think eventually we're going to fucking start that podcast. Uh, but I don't know. Right now it's like we're paying for two uh, feeds. So it's like we got to kind of fill up the eats either, you know, get rid of it or, or uh, you know, add to it more, man. So, which I don't know, man. I, I, I think I'm a happier person when I'm doing – uh, projects like this dude so i think it, it gives me focus you know and um you know, hopefully you know people like it and you know people check it out dude i think the honestly i kind of think the movie podcast or the movie thing is going to be pretty fun you know i think it's going to be a fun different change of pace you know it's like podcasting is easy because you're just sitting in front of a microphone just like talking about what the fuck ever you know um but you know i kind of miss you know the filming of a project and like filming it you know and uh being in front of a camera like that it's like they haven't i haven't done that in like you know, seven eight years just about seven years well we ended that podcast in 2014 <laughs> i know we ended that tv show in 2014 so yeah like seven years so i don't know well i, t- I take that back dude i've been we're, i did like a couple of projects here recently with brandon so i was in front of a camera which um 
Yeah, you should totally check out Brandon Allen's uh, YouTube page. Go subscribe to him or Razorhead, like 5468 or some shit, which I totally got that wrong, but it's a Razorhead something. So I don't know. Hit him up too, man. Uh, you, you can check out those projects there. So, I mean, we've done a little bit. We did, yeah. I think that's, that's really the first time I've been on camera in a long fucking time, dude. Um, it's cool. It's cool, dude. It's fun to do this type of stuff. I want to definitely do more, man. Um, you know, I just, you know, yeah. I mean, there's something else to do. You know, and again, like it's it's not fun just sitting around doing nothing. It's like at least I'm doing something, you know, albeit whatever on the lowest level it is. It's just like at least we're doing something and, and having fun doing it. So, uh, again, doing stand up comedy, man, trying to get out there. So, if you're out and about on a Wednesday night, uh, you totally hit up a drinking games uh, comedy open mic. Uh, for as far as I know, we're still going on Wednesdays, you know. So, but shout out Brian Brisky for his brand new showcase, uh, Rough Sets, uh, running every Wednesday also on at Bills. There's comedy back at Bills, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, you can support local comedy here in Yakima. Um, yeah. If you, if you can be in the same place at the same time, two different places, then you should totally do that. But <laughs> I'll be at Drinking Games, at least for the foreseeable future, ladies and gentlemen. So check that shit out. Um, I don't know. I think that this is a, kind of a short opening, man. As you saw, dude, second week in a row, man, we got guests on this shit. Uh, Darren Fogelsong and Eric Smested both making their returns uh, to the podcast that no one listens to, which isn't, this isn't the first time that they've been guests together. Uh, some of you re may remember uh, Doll Stakes coming on uh, on the podcast here a couple of years ago. I had to promote their new album. Uh, so that was uh, an involvement of both Eric and uh, Darren. Thus, I think I think their new band that they have out now is called Ball Bag. I want to just, I'm just taking a swing at that. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, which they're coming on here to promote their fucking first show, Bad Habit, I know. And I think Ball Bags is playing. Um, you'll probably hear about it more on the podcast you know so i should just leave it to them to promote it uh but at the brand new punk bar here in yakima washington formerly the hot nation so we used to do open mic there on wednesdays um why am i stuck on wednesdays i don't know uh on thursdays back uh pre-covid 19 so uh go support those guys definitely as they are opening their doors to the public and um getting live music up and going again here in Yakima, which is a much needed thing. So uh, shout out to those guys. I have no idea. I can't, I, will, I wanted to fucking go. The show was actually supposed to take place like two weeks ago or some shit. And like, I was ready. Like I told Jessica, I was like, Hey, I want to go to the show. I haven't been to a show in fucking forever. Right. And so it ended up getting delayed for various reasons and it turns out, okay, so June 18th, that's the day it's going down. Well, it turns out Jessica's like, we're going to have her nephew that night. It's like, you son of a bitch, you fucking, I know, I'm just joking. I love my nephew, dude. So I may go, I may not go. I'm not too sure yet. Um, I may, I'm probably just going to stay at home. I mean, what am I, what am I, if I really fucking around like here? I mean, you got kids, man. I got kids, man. It's an excuse, dude. So I'll use it every single time. It's like, ah, why can't you do anything, man? It's kids, the kids. Ah, Jory guys fucking learner's permit this week. That's how old I am, man, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, you don't look a day over 15. It's like, I'm 35. Ah, dude, 36 in a couple months, man. Less than six months, dude. So the years go by way too quick. Um, yeah, man, you know, I'm just, I'm just living life, man. Feeling good, dude. Shows are coming back, dude. So, uh, you know, we're, we're planning on going to see Rancid and Dropkick Murphys this October uh, up in Seattle. We're going to try to catch a, a Seahawks preseason game uh, this coming uh, August, dude. So I think that's, like, probably the one thing I'm, like, most excited for is, like, you know, get paid next week. So <clears throat> I'm going to buy those tickets ahead of time. And uh, which is like fifty dollar, like you know, nosebleed. So it's like, yeah, you can't beat that. Like, I'll, I'll go to a Seahawks game. So we'll just fucking go smoke a bunch of weed uh, before we go into Lumen Field, the brand renamed. It's no longer CenturyLink. It's no longer Quest. It's no longer CenturyLink. It's Lumen fucking Field. That's such a stupid fucking name. Why can't they just call it Seahawks Stadium? Fuck you, corporations. Corporations are the reason this fucking country sucks so much fucking dick, dude. Fuck you, Amazon. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, without further ado, I give you Darren Fogelsong and Eric Smested. All aboard! I was like, oh, what? What's that, dude? Oh, boy. Sir, can I, our uh, ma'am, can I speak with your manager? Like, I'm sorry. I don't work at a card bar store, but... It doesn't matter what it does. They did it on the computer. I would ask <laughs> you questions. 
like, well, well you, could, you could Google it if you don't know. But the word radiator should have some sort of significance here, I would think. I think most of the people who work at those stores, I could be wrong, but I think most people who work at auto parts stores don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Maybe yeah, they, I'm going to agree yeah. with you. No, on I, that, they have, they a, have a computer. computer yeah. Where yeah. You type in the thing, it gives you a part number and a location of it in the back, and they bring yeah. it to you. Yeah. That's it. No, I, I, I get that. I don't totally get that. The reason I know that is because you'll ask for like a turn signal, and they're like, is that a four wheel drive? Because oh, no. you know, like it even matters. Um, I was gonna say I don't think it matters, right? Yeah, <laughs> that might may have been a bad example, but I've been asked those types of oh, questions yeah. so many yeah. times that where it's just like, dude, it doesn't matter. I know. I'm like, what engine's got in it? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's a tail light. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, you know, tail lights they vary from car to car. Okay, so you know, don't don't chastise me as I'm trying to help you, sir. And, I only work here. Yeah, I only work I, here. We don't know what we're ta- we're doing. I make minimum wage. What do you expect? The computer's gonna tell me what to do. It's like, well, I uh, I make don't give a fuck fifty. So yeah, right. <laughs> I remember uh, I remember when we used to work at that uh, shady ass fucking Prey 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 Prey. Prey. Oh, man. remember the the scripts they had? So anytime somebody like you had to like go script to script, and they like when they quality monitored you, like you had to be you had like, to fucking word 100%. for word and yeah. shit. I got pretty good at that, especially since we were doing, like, the TV show at the time. We were first starting. Like, I felt like it was, like, I don't know. I've always felt, like, working customer service, like, like helps you, like, enunciate and speak well mm-hmm. and, like, you know, be able to, like, communicate good. Mm-hmm. Memorize script. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That place. You get all these presets. You ever hit the wrong preset? Where... I remember when I fucking quit, dude. I just didn't go to work for, like, four days. I remember And that. they called me. They're like, so, oh, are you going to come back, or? Yeah, you were just telling me about that. I was like, hmm. No. Like, oh, okay, no problem. The place was question. shady as fuck. Oh, it was dude. fucking hella shady, dude. Credit we were scamming the fucking shit out of people. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. They don't. They get the. You have to cancel within thirty days, and they get the bill on the thirty first or thirty second day. Yeah. Is this cool in here? Yeah, you're good, man. Yeah. Not shady at all. There's a difference between vape pens and cigarettes. Yeah, I let yeah, Bra- yeah. I let Bra- Brandon Allen's well. the only person I ever let like smoke a cigarette in here. I was like, yeah, you know, go for it, dude. And, like we're sitting in here and just like it pillow it like got like fucking... filled with smoke uh. so fast. And we're just like, oh, okay, maybe we just walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, just like the van days. I know, dude. The... Fucking hot box in the van with eight people smoking cigarettes at the same time. Oh, dude, that's too much. It's in... yeah. fucking awful. <clears throat> I used to intentionally hot box cars with cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Double Stupid nicotine. Kid. Yeah. You know. Well, it doesn't take much because it doesn't dissipate. Just box this entire pack. It's not get out till it's gone. God. But, but of course, you know, smoking a bunch of weed in your car and hot boxing that way. We did a podcast in here. I never, I never released it. We did these like these uh these like we did a second one. It was like uh, these like stoner like dab hit ones where we just basically like got a bunch of like stand up comics in here and we just smoked a bunch of weed. <laughs> and we did it here a couple months ago, dude, and the room got so fucking bad, dude. I won't release it because, like, dude, I got just so high, and I just sat there, and I was like, I don't, I'm not going to say anything. It's my podcast. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and be quiet. Yeah, enough weed will do that. Yeah, I've been, I've been fucking taking those uh, 100 milligram sodas lately. Yeah, dude, I saw that. You fucking fin- you polished that off the other dude, night. I, I like, well, damn. Yeah, dude, I, I, before I left your house last Friday, uh, like, I drank, like, half of it. And I got pretty fucking high at your house, man. Like, I, you yeah, know, I was pretty fucking lit the whole time. I should have. The one thing I do regret is not hitting that fucking that dipped fucking joint that you had. Mm, yeah, that was fucking good. I do regret that, but I got me fucking ripped. But Jessica, dude. Jessica picked me up, dude. So like, I, I fucking fought, I swallowed the rest of that, dude. I went home. I didn't go to bed till like two o'clock that in the morning. <laughs> and I just sat there and watched wrestling. I was just like fucking, fucking high like, as dude. shit. I was like, fuck. It's a good feeling, dude. Like, kind of once you get the, you know, the hang of, like, being that high. Because, like, initially, yeah. dude, you're just like, fuck. <laughs> My heart's, like, I sat here one night with Brandon and Dustin, and we were watching Scanners. And I fucking was watching it, and, like, the whole time I'm thinking in my head, you're going to have a heart attack. You're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, and, fucking and, anxiety. And then the whole time, the movie, shit. the only time I'm paying attention to the fucking movie is, like, he's like, now control your mind and blow up the man's heart. Fuck. You know, it's, like, those scenes and shit. So I'm just like, ah. So, like, that first night. Yeah, it's a little it's too much. much but <laughs> I've done it a couple times since, and, like, each time it's been a better experience. Yeah, I got... Dude, yeah, the first one we got, I was like I was saying the other night, the first <laughs> one we got, I didn't shake up at no. all. 
And what so, kind was it? Was it like a juice that you drank? It was, or? It was like, yeah, it was like a juice, it like but it was only like 10 ounces. Yeah, some of those are fucking, they, and, pack, they pack a punch, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I didn't shake it up though, and I didn't realize you needed to shake it up. Yeah. And apparently, if you don't do that, the fuck, all the THC fucking re- sits at the bottom. <laughs> Jeez. Like, a lot of it, like, comes out of solution Jeez. and onto the bottom. And yeah. so, I drank the first half of it, and, like, I got high from it. I was like, ooh, man, I'm actually pretty high Woo. from this. I've never felt, pretty much never felt edibles ever. And then... Yeah, I usually don't either, honestly. I can only think of one time ever in my life where I was actually fucked up. One time I actually it. felt it were these cookies that um, one of my dad's friends made. Yeah, and I see. I made Homemade cookies. Ones, yeah. yeah, I made cookies. They were and fucking I, strong. I made cookies one time... Um, and I, and I ate one, nothing. So like, I don't know, a week or so later, I ate two in that same day. My, my ex's, uh, parents were coming over her whole family and her grandparents and she <laughs> were coming over for dinner and I was cooking the dinner that night and those two cookies got me fucked up. And even at yeah. dinner, I'm like, you know, eyes all closed, just munching. <laughs> just down the food. And someone's like, are you all right? And I'm like, I'm just tired. I've, I've worked early. I was fucked, though. Yeah, dude. Uh, that's the only time, really. There's other I, times where I'm like, I feel it, but never... Yeah. No, I drank half of this drink, and then, like, I got pretty high, but, like, Naomi, mm-hmm. it fucking knocked her ass out. She was ass passed out. out at 10 o'clock at night. Damn. Which is, like, we we stay up until 2 or 3 it's every unknown. night. It's unknown for you. Yeah. yeah. You guys stay up like, all the time. Literally, I haven't gone to bed before, like, 1 o'clock in the morning for probably 10 years. Like, outside maybe a handful of times yeah, with here. extreme times. circumstance, like... I go to bed every night at, like, 11, basically, dude. Yeah, but you get up early I every get up day. I fucking early every day. Even when... I used to work at Target at 4 a.m., so I had to be up by uh, 3 o'clock. Yeah, those are leaving tough. Leaving the house by 3.30 or so, so I usually woke up at, like, 3.45 and left the house at, like, 4. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be there at 4, though. But, um... Yeah, those early morning, those those early mornings. But that's tough, just dude. bullshit. But I, I still yeah. wouldn't go to sleep early. Well, it was bullshit, but not really for what I did. It was called presentation, so I okay. had to get there. I had to rip everything off of it. Like they gave me a planogram. Mm-hmm. There was an aisle name on it. I had to go to that aisle, pull everything off of the shelves that was on it, put new backer paper up, wipe the shelves off, take labels out, ah. readjust everything, and get it back up there. And I had to. You know, so a lot of it, I'm blocking that entire aisle, and the product's not on the shelf. So they yeah. need to get me yeah. out of there as early as possible. Yeah, they yeah it's like saying, like, and I was at opening like 12, doors, they're like, get out, tuck like and roll! And from 8 o'clock to like, when we opened at it's 8, like, to like 12.30, not, not, uh, yeah. not, not too busy. Yeah. That seems like it'd be like, not a bad job. Sitting on my fucking good. car alarm. Oh shit, is that what it was going on? I didn't even hear it, dude. I'm such shitty hearing. I had fucking yeah. We had that. We had another drink. It was twelve ounces, right? And uh, I had three quarters of that, and Naomi only had a quarter of it. And I shook that one up, and mm-hmm. I was fucking boxed up. Fucking wasted. Oh my god! So we did that, and then I took a fucking bong hit, and then like, dude, like ten minutes later, I was just fucking high out of my gourd, like. <laughs> Like, normally, I don't feel any paranoia at all from weed. And I can smoke all fucking night, and I just don't... Right. Like, I get high, but there's a re- there's a point where you don't get high anymore, and it's just... You're just maintaining whatever, right? Well, like... I like the taste. I like the taste of it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man, me too. It's fucking delicious. But, like, <laughs> Jesus fuck, dude. I was so fucked up. Like, I was sitting there, like, touching my face. Like, mm-hmm. whoa. I can't. I can't feel my. Can I? Like <laughs> my face is numb. Like seriously, dude, my whole body you pin- turned you numb. P- you pinch yourself like to make sure you fucking have feeling. Dude, my whole fucking yeah. body went numb. Wait, wait, I was go. like, Whoa. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> On weed? It was fucking. I don't know. Up. I don't know. I mean, if your blood pressure gets too fucking high, you're just like, I don't know. I stroke out. That's yeah. what I worry about. <laughs> it does make your heart fucking your heart rate increase. Like, I don't know. Like, I work out so my heart rate really increases, but, like, piece. still you can't feel it, though, points. you know? Yeah. What's your resting? Like, I, 100? I don't know. I've never, like, I, I should probably, like, check it more than check it. But, like, Most people's... I only check it when I go to the doctor or something. Unless you're, like, super fit. Yeah. And, like, you know, exercise crazily. Most people is around 100. Mm. 
if you're like really, really, really healthy, you can get it down to like your resting you know, heart rate. Yeah. Okay, so like you I get uh, it down to like sixty or seventy if you're like fucking. I think remote. like I had one of those like those little like smart watches on my hand because yeah. I ended up returning it. Honestly, like I was just like I got notoriously out. unreliable. Okay. Okay. Well, but. I was saying I was I had a resting heart rate mostly at like between like eighty to hundred. That's so. that's normal. That's yeah. probably relatively. Any accurate. anything I was any readings I got off that like it, it said it was relatively normal, but you know, and again, like I've gone to the doctor, and the doctor's like just programmed to always tell you you're normal. Yeah, <laughs> like, I this, mean, this thing cannot just, tell you if you're having a heart. It's attack. just not really <clears throat> that accurate. I understand. I mean, because I mean, yeah. it's, well, it, I bet some of them are. Well, the yeah, if you got a couple hundred dollar one, it's a little better. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, from what I've <clears throat> when I was I was talking to my doctor about it, and it's it's not. It can give you an idea, but it's certainly not to be re- relied upon to be accurate. It's like I the cell phone the... apps, dude. That like you say you can check your heart, your uh, your fucking blood pressure. It's like, oh, you're at like one thirty two over something. You know, he's like, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. How are you getting that reading, yeah, fucking it's like my little... Mister Wizard? Yeah, right. It's like, <laughs> are we recording? Yeah, we've been recording for like eleven minutes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, how much can I say right now? We're we're in a limit, you know. <laughs> You can say whatever you want, eh? <laughs> It's the podcast no one listens to. Yeah, no people... I got I gotta admit, that is kind of a funny name because... Yeah. People actually listen to it. I listen to it. Sometimes. I mean, I've listened to several, will several say, episodes. I will I will say, like, we had, we had a lot more downloads last year. Like, I took yeah. a two-month break. I came back, dude, and, like, it really wasn't, like, as many downloads as I was getting. <laughs> well, another thing... I don't really know why exactly, you know, so. Honestly, another thing that's happened a lot, and mm-hmm. I noticed this a couple of months ago, as pe- places have started to open, yeah. and, like, people are kind of, like, doing more stuff, um, like, so, you know, I was doing those live streams every Friday, and we, we I just saw the numbers drop off. Yeah. Like, used to be, like, 20 or 30 people would be watching... And then it was it's like, like fifteen, and yeah. then now it's like if I, was, I break five or ten, it's yeah, like, that's, and that's what happened. To the I was podcast, watching dude. most of them. Um, yeah, when you first started doing it, and even I saw it. Like that first one you did, yeah. was, it was like a party. Yeah, dude, party there was hell of people watching. Yeah. I was like, oh shit! I had well, to all the com- everyone's talking to each other through the comments. Yeah, thing. that's cool. And when it was, I was just know, getting all wasted. <laughs> It was refreshing no, having badass, something dude. at that time. Having something at that time dude, to see the... I got and it was, to, to interact with all those people. Yeah. It was almost like the real thing. Because I was sitting at home getting drunk. I had it yeah. screen shared on my TV. So like, you know. And yeah. That's awesome. Chatting no, dude, with people. And it was cool. There's a guy that lives up in fucking Wenatchee. Some old guy that like has gone to a few of the fucking Wally shows or whatever. Right. He watches and he fucking <clears> plays <throat> along. Like he... He's like, he's like, yeah, man, I got this shit hooked up through my PA, and I'm fucking sitting here with my bass, fucking trying to follow along. Oh, wait, is that like, what's his name? Yeah. Uh, Dennis? No, that's not Dennis, although Dennis does the same thing. Yeah, because I, I remember in a Zoom chat, he said he played along to you. Which is fucking cool. Like, that's kind of what I wanted out of that, is like, I, I wanted to do a song circle, but like, mm-hmm. people are bitches. It's hard to get people to fucking, like, I don't know, when my... Like, when I started out playing music, my dad told me, you can't play unless, you can't say that you play to someone unless you can pick up a guitar and sing a song. Right. Like, other than that, mm-hmm. you're just, you're just, you're just faking. You're just faking Jamaican. You're just I'm faking. faking. I'm faking it. And like, <laughs> here's the thing, like, it's, it is difficult to play guitar and sing. It really is. Mm-hmm. But you don't necessarily have to play guitar and sing if you want to p- sing a song. Send it to me and I'll learn it and then you can sing it. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, like I, I don't care what your level is. I want to be inclusive to everyone. And I'm gonna now that shit's starting to open at punks, I'm I haven't talked to him about this yet, but I want to. Hey, maybe one of those listening. I want to um I wanna start a song circle there every week. Mm-hmm. And you know, like, people have, like, these comedy jams where every, whoever wants to come in fucking yeah. signs up to do comedy. Open mics. Well, I don't want to do it open mic, though. I want to do it song circle. Yeah, but no. The difference we got all those, <clears throat> like, on the barter fairs, the hippie fests. You yeah. Know, with the drum circles. Yeah. And stuff. No, I it's, totally get it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, ba- the basic difference, and we'll just say this for the benefit of your listeners, but the basic difference is in uh, open mic, 
it's like it's just you get up your there with your guitar and you sing your song yeah. and and you get off or you get your three songs or 15 minutes or however the format is 15 minutes you guys are generous <laughs> not me. you don't want to see open comedy open mic people go for five minutes well, but songs take longer comedy, though. Yeah, songs take longer yeah 15 minutes could be two you know to four songs Anyway, everybody gets whatever time slot. Right. So in a song circle, everybody plays every song. Mm-hmm. And the person that is singing the song is the, you know, they say, okay, here's the song. These are the chords, you know. And one of the disadvantages is you can't, that's, you, unless you're playing with really, really good musicians, mm-hmm. not everybody will be able to play along with everything. Some stuff is a little more complicated right. and... You know, you can't, it's harder to just fucking play yeah, off the yeah. top of your head. But if right. you're playing, but you think about that when going to it. So you're like, okay, well, I can play this song. It's relatively simple. There's only a couple of chords. You right. show the people the chords really quick. And then everybody plays. Everybody gets to contribute. Everybody has a good time. You learn something as a musician mm-hmm. because you've never played that song mm-hmm. before, maybe. Or um, you learn someone as a, something as a performer. You learn what it feels like to have people back you up, right. which is an invaluable skill. Right. Um, you know, <laughs> it's. I I think we can make better players yeah. by people by doing that. Yeah, it's almost people, like what like blues jams, but um, yeah, it's exactly like blues jams. Blues, blues like jams that's are cool. that's how we did those. But the reason I think why that's why so blues, many jams, blues players get so good at solos, you know, from well, doing stuff like that. That's. Yeah, certainly, certainly, and I mean. With blues jams, I mean, with blues, there ain't a whole lot to it. I mean, that's it's, why I said the it's basically three chords. You know, yeah. there's an old joke that's basically there's two blues songs. Yeah. <laughs> and then they yeah. just change the words. <laughs> or they change what key it's in. But ultimately, it's all the same. Is there like a, like a, like such a hardcore memory in my 20s, dude? Is like going to those, like, mm-hmm. Jacksons? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were fun. Yeah. They transferred over to Bills for a bit, too, and I would go to them there. They were. I never played in them because I am still scared to play with people. Right. It's weird. The Jackson's Jam was interesting. Um, it went to Speakeasy for a while. Fucking that was Speakeasy. Even yeah, more interesting, let me tell you what. Yeah, that um, would be an interesting venue to be hanging out problem that Anytime happens, you're hanging out at Speakeasy. There, there is a problem that I, I did see happen with those, mm-hmm. and maybe it was just because it was the same people organizing them. Yeah. But it seemed like... Um, there was a lot of favoritism in that, and I'm sure it. Ha- I'm sure that also happens in, you know, um, open mics too. Where yeah, you uh, you can always say there's like a cool kids club. And by and, and and by favoritism yeah. in a in a band jam, it's <clears throat> so you'll have a wide range of different musical abilities of players in a in a jam, right? Mm-hmm. Everything from uh. Kid fresh out of high school hasn't, you know, is really good could play anything, mm-hmm. or a fucking college graduate who's played in you know lots of different groups has right. you know has their shit together is really great. Old pros that haven't played a long time, and old people that aren't pros that haven't played in a long time, and depending on what you get, yeah, your situation might be different. Right. And I mean, it's cool because, you know, we want to be inclusive. But so what really, happens is, is if you are known for being a hot player, there was another type you'll of be, player that you'll, showed, you'll be, oh, go ahead. There's yeah. another type of player that showed up to those though. And those were the cocky, arrogant fucking pricks. Oh yeah. There was plenty like, of those. I don't know. Probably shouldn't say a name. I'll just say the harmonica guy. <clears throat> oh, you mean the guy that ran it? Did he run it? Um, yeah. Dude, I've seen him like just get frustrated with what the people play in. The rest of the band is playing and walk off, like shaking his head. Yeah, there's no room for that. that guy's taking that shit way too seriously. And that's the guy running the show, getting paid to be there. That's the other thing. No one else is getting paid, right? I won't say his name, but there's probably there's lots of people who know exactly who I'm talking about when I say that. Tuck Foster. (laughs) (laughs) Doug's like, I'm sending a fucking email in, Eric. Tuck, let me talk to your manager. I mean. Whatever them. Just they were still cool to watch. Here, yeah. here, you know the way I see it though, like it's it's all good, but you know the favoritism would happen so that the good players got had hooked up with the other good players, 
Right. So if you weren't part of that inner circle, you always got fucked over. I'm good on that. And, you know, my dad's an older guy. He certainly can entertain and play. Yeah. But his timing isn't so great sometimes. And he needs a good drummer to keep him in line. I know well, that is. Well, we never got the good drummers, or very rarely. Yeah. And then, you know, we'd want to play some reggae or something, and we'd say, oh, reggae. And the drummer would be like, what? Never played that before. And it's like, what do you, is that, what is that, Jimmy Buffett? You guys all know the, <laughs> do, 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 Dude, do, do, fuck do, Jimmy do. Buffett. <laughs> Man, nah, I can't go on my podcast and say fuck Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, I fucking can. It's a like, household name right there, Eric. <laughs> it's the flip-flop khaki dude, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Stepped on a pop in paradise. Yeah. paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny actually about him yeah. is that he spends so much time like running all of the businesses and yeah. all the shit that he has. I would he doesn't really actually know. have time to live that fantasy living in the Caribbean lifestyle that he talks about so much. So it's kind of like, yeah, pretty funny actually. Well, you know, cirrhosis <laughs> of the liver will catch up to you eventually when you live that lifestyle anyway. So yeah. Oh yeah, and his beard fucking sucks. Yeah, land that shit shark, did land suck, shark dude. lager is fucking Yeah, that awful. shit wasn't yeah, good, dude. No, I, I mean, all, that. all pretty much all lager is awful, but that shit yeah, is lagers aren't that good. Does he still I've had like, some good lagers, but the problem with that beer, that? the problem I haven't seen it, but the problem with that beer is the same as like Corona and uh, Modelo and everything else, dude. Like clear it. bottle. It's stale before you get it. It's the clear bottle, so it comes skunked. Yeah. It's skunky. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, I like Modelo. Yeah, Modelo is pretty good. In a can. Got yeah. one more of these, man? Modelo in a can is good. Yeah. As you far as that style of beer tap. goes. I'd get it on my tap. Like, well, I guess oh, I any beer on, served in a bottle. Never mind. No, any beer on tap, tap is... I don't think I've had Modelo. Not before. any. Ah, uh, man. Mm-hmm. I always enjoyed our good... I remember Sometimes the they can be all right. On tap, as long as it's not flat. If it's yeah. Your chances of it being okay are a lot better if it's on tap. I will agree with that. Yeah. Well, it's like soda. I mean, like, you know, soda. Like, a can soda is good. But like, oh, but that's fountain yeah, soda, Yeah, you can't man. be a fountain soda. Yeah. yeah. Unless they're really shitty at maintaining their fountain and it sucks ass. True that. Like, Fuck you, College Mart. Costco. <clears throat> Hoses get dirty or it's not. For real, dude, go get a mountain. I dare you right now to go down and get a Mountain Dew at Costco. Yeah. And tell me that that shit tastes right. Because it don't. Is it? It's enough. too watered down. It's too much fucking... So, like, they have, like... There's... They're probably trying to save some money on that shit. Too much soda to probably. syrup? Probably. Got to fucking save yeah. money because they're paying off. They're, you got to know we're losing money on those fucking. Uh, the on others, those the dogs. Others, the 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 the, oh, the yeah. one guy's all like, he's like, man, I'm gonna raise the prices on the hot dogs. And the oh owner, yeah. The owner hits him up. He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you if you raise the. Money. Like literally, not even like. <laughs> yeah. He was well, like, least, what? It's like a dollar fifty for a dog and a yeah, soda. Yeah, a dog and a soda. Yeah, dude. I haven't been there in a long time. Has has been so since like 1980. Yeah, cheese pizza, crazy bro. Shit. It's like it's like some of the best shit. Like it's the Even best cheese smoothies. Pizza they do have a good little food. Yeah. Court. No food court. Yeah. Food court. It's, it is good. I was just gonna say like I don't know. I've been there and like I never like noticed this anything wrong with the sodas or like I always I always get Pepsi though. You know? I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I stopped I, drinking Mountain Dew a long time ago, dude. Unless like I did try that Mountain Dew like. Dude, melon. look at the ingredients. It's, it's orange right. juice. It's okay. Yeah. Orange <laughs> juice in it. A negligible amount of orange juice. It's <laughs> funny because orange juice isn't even good for you. Right. Not so really. Sugar. It's pretty more sugar than orange sugar. juice yeah. than, than soda. I'm pretty sure. No, not wrong, quite. As it's much, just as it's much. Almost. No, it's like just as high. You know, it's like all that shit's it's bad. It's like forty or fifty milligrams. Yeah, it's gotta I think be a lot. I think Mountain Dew is like seventy or something. You yeah, need a guy I mean, like this soda has like forty three grams of fucking sugar. Yeah. Dude. See like, right there. But at least it's real sugar and not fucking HFCS. Right there, Rogan would have been like, hey, Jamie, can you look that up? You need a Jamie. I know, dude. I need to bring my kid in here, dude. He's, he's old <laughs> enough. I told him, like... He just I'm, like, Googles everything as we're talking about it? I'm starting a new project. Uh, I'm doing, like, some YouTube movie thing or whatever. Like, doing, like, movie uh, reviews and shit. So, like, I told him, I'm like, yeah, you're going to be my cameraman. <laughs> like, oh, there you go. So I'm going to shoot some, like, sketches and shit. So, nice. Mm-hmm. So, the last time I put saw that, him... Is put his ass to work! Last time I saw him is when you, when you were in that band and you guys left, left some... Uh, Oh yeah, when you I left fucking, some gear behind yeah. and you came over. Yeah, we and, got the strobe light. Yeah. And yeah, and uh, that was the last time I saw him until today. <laughs> he came out and it's yeah. like, it's, it's like grown, an adult, dude. Grown. Yeah, he just got his uh, fucking driver's permit. 
Oh no way! Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, and of course I quit drinking like a year ago, you know. Now I'm like, I can't <laughs> son of a bitch, missed opportunity. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I know it's crazy. I like just god damn, dude, that's a trip, dude. Up, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's like the size of an adult. Isn't yeah. He? You look. He like takes he off his shirt. He's got like he hair me. on his fucking belly and shit. You're like, what the fuck? He was super polite when he saw me though. Yeah, he's a good. He's like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. Like, oh no, man, he's fucking. He's polite. And then I pointed. I'm like, he's in here, right? Yeah. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And then your wife's like, I was like, who the fuck's at my house? <laughs> Is that what she said? She was joking. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 But no, she, when she saw me, she's like, you're here for fucking Kevin, long right? Fucking like, long-haired hippies fucking roaming around. Hey, dude, I ain't no hippie. <laughs> Don't you come into my house. Remember, oh. we're punks. We have to hate oh, hippies. I oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, hey. For some I, reason. I did. I don't that? know. What is that? What is that? They don't take showers. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll explain. Would you like? I, don't know. I <laughs> would think you like? Every day. Okay. I do too. But. Would you like me to explain why punks hate hippies? I would. Because I don't hate hippies. I, I, I actually have a pretty legitimate understanding of that. So, the re- the main reason why punks and hippies are incompatible, it's not drugs. We even have. Rel- usually ha- have relatively well, similar subcultures. We ha- so. usually have relatively similar political viewpoints, even mm-hmm. sometimes. But here's the fundamental difference: hippies or Democrats stand around and talk about these issues, and with no intention of actually trying to do something about it. So the punks. You'll never, you will never see a hippie at a mm-hmm. at protest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they, they don't. Yeah. Well, not now. Back then, are well, you hippies just turned into back, back in anyway. the sixties. But uh, guess what? That was a long time ago. Hippies, since really since the eighties, have been basically they're all they're non confrontational, which basically means Amen. that the, peace and instead love, of man. instead of like you know being political activists, they are now. It's basically a bunch of people with a bunch of faux fucking hippie bullshit trying to rip you off for drugs. And a lot of them seem to have a pretty lackadaisical caring of what, like, boundaries are for people, and they don't care about ripping people off. There is no, like, in punk rock, so you're there's descri- You're describing a lot of punks I know, too, though. Yeah, and I mean... <laughs> it goes both ways. <laughs> and, I mean, there certainly is crossover. Don't get me wrong, but, like... The, you know, hippies were, are not necessarily, like, anti-cop. Mm. They, like, a lot of them actually can hold pretty, on the face of it, pretty conservative-looking viewpoints when it comes to, like, you know, I mean, he's just trying to do say his racism, job. say uh, appropriation. Don't like, they don't, me. they, like, the, or sexual orientation, that can also be, and I mind you. I've heard the appropriation argument with hippies before, the the incessant need to get dreads. And well, so, like. This new movement of hippies with their dreads. Yeah. And, well, and here, the other, you know, the thing that bothers me, I think, the most. So, Bad Habit, we're a band that plays punk rock and reggae. Well, I say we're a punk rock reggae band. And the reason why I say that is that, yeah, I mean, we play both, but, like, in the reggae scene, there's totally this, like, just gross, like, it's white people exploiting black people's music very unapologetically. I call it white boy reggae. It is, too. Mm -hmm. Because... And you that go, doesn't mean all white people who are in reggae bands. That's not what I mean at all. But you watch but the these, white dudes who who sing in the fake Jamaican like, accents. Hi, bro. And like, dude, come on. Come well, on. you watch these. Um, You're from California. You, you watch these like festivals. No and man, I'm part of the scene, man. <laughs> you know, and like reg, so reggae is kind of had had a new like resurgence in the last ten years or so. Mm. Um. I don't slightly, think I'm aware of it. So, oh, like slightly stupid. So like, slightly stupid. Was it retribution? Revolution? Oh, slightly Re- stupid was totally like ten years ago. Duh. They might still be prevalent, but I remember, you, dude, they're fucking huge, dude. Well, they that, they host cruises I, and shit. I know that, but I don't. I they think, were. Are they like they were ten years ago? Their last album 
that came out was number one in the fucking world reggae charts. Damn. Like, they're they're yeah. huge. All of these bands are huge. Yeah. They're maybe much just, larger than punk rock is. Maybe I'm just assuming because I kind of stopped listening it's to them. It's because fucking... Instead of having, like, you have. know... Top lawn fucking stoner chicks. And, like, and start of, <laughs> instead of um, having... Come on, baby. Instead, you you know, like instead of, shit? you know, small <laughs> festivals, they have, like... 30, 40,000 people at their festival. Well, it's like every year they go to Marymore Park and like draw a huge. Well, yeah, they're, yeah. Like, yeah. And then, they're total but they, I mean, on top of that, they, they go on cruises. Mm. There's like all of this stuff. Oh, yeah, they do have a cruise. They they do like, everybody has cruise. There's Everybody's several like, cruises. There's several cruises. Go they do put on a good cruise. show. Have you ever seen them live? Oh, yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, I saw them once at the Legalize, I think it was called Legalize It, the mm. Legalize It tour, and it was fucking. Uh, Mickey Avalon opened. Do you guys remember him? That rapper? I recognize yeah. the name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we were at that show. Uh, Stephen Marley. Yeah, Stephen Marley. Uh, yeah. Fucking. Was that Snoop a Barry Moore? Dog. Yeah, and Snoop Dogg. It was when he put out the reggae album, isn't it? <laughs> no. no. Well, maybe. No, I think it was. Snoop Lion. Yeah, Snoop Lion. Dude, he pretty much just. It was pretty much the hits. It was what you would expect off a of doggy style, which, in my opinion, is his only good album. Dogfather's Seriously. okay. Yeah, I everything after Dogfather. that I don't like really, but it's dude, it's doggy style. Yeah, doggy that is his album. album. You know who's better at reggae? Who? Fucking um, Eddie Murphy. Reggae? Oh yeah, dude! Hell yeah, dude! Eddie he Murphy plays reggae. Fuck yeah, he does, really? and he's good at it. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah! No, seriously, I, I. He, what, oh, here's okay. here's your charge. He guitar or what? Go, yeah, he sings. Uh. Here's your charge. Go listen to Eddie Murphy play reggae. Go Google it. It's awesome. Just e- Google yeah, Eddie Murphy yeah. reggae and you'll be like, holy fuck. And it's I'm real. It's I'm not It's not it. even it's not it's not comedy. It's just actual Straight music. music. Mm-hmm. I knew well, you, you wonder what he was doing last, you know. But it's not minutes. like also super shitty. I mean, okay. So like I don't think Snoop dude, Lion I was like, super shitty, but I like, it was just kind of party all the time, dude. I like that song. <laughs> it was all right. You know? I didn't like it. I felt, and especially maybe had I not watched the documentary, I would have liked ah, it. I watched that the might documentary, have been. and dude, I he's the just like, I never listened to the album. He's saying that he felt like he was Bob Marley reincarnated, That's and I don't know, said. like I don't know what how reincarnation works. So I could be wrong here, but um, <laughs> yeah. like when he was when Snoop Dogg was born, Bob Marley was still alive. Yeah, he was born. So in the how 60s, could you reincarnate as a guy who's still living? And maybe, I don't know. I don't know uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like, say no, that man. probably breaks the rules of, uh, you know, physics. Reincarnation. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, well, I, I got reincarnation spirit. Reincarnation breaks the rules of physics. Well, but, uh, yeah. But, but, <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Basically, I, believe, I think reincarnation is I, bullshit. But I don't think, still, what okay. I do know about it, I don't think that it's possible. What? People's idea of reincarnation. Well, what we know is, uh, you know, Snoop Dogg's all into black magic and shit. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, obviously one, one answer could be, well... How can you believe in reincarnation when there's more people now than there was before? Well, because... Mm. Sure, but I think the argument... just like, mind that, fucked me, dude. I feel pretty violated right now. I'm just... I, I, I don't would, have an answer. I'm sure the they argue, would answer. the argument like, with that would be uh, because it's new, not always people, it's new, animals. New souls can always be created. There animals than there used to be. So that could be their argument? I don't know. It, it's probably something along the lines one of sewer tunnel. You know, well, soul new soul souls through. can still be created. So you guys see the Freddy Krueger movies, dude? You see them all? Well, that's well. what. Okay, so that's what. Shit. Indigo Kid, the band. That's what that means. The an Indigo Kid is yeah. somebody who's never. It's their first life. An Indigo child. And it's their yeah. aura is the an Indigo color, and it's supposed to be like that's their first life. They've yeah. never been. Mm, they it aren't smells like bullshit to something. Me. Well, duh. But. So, like, hey guys, I can see your aura right there. It looks but like. Then, that's why they're saying it's like looking pretty more, bright. These that's days. why they're saying there's more people with autism. There's more people with ADD and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what they're kind of the people yeah, who believe we dump in that a shitload of chemicals over the goddamn planet. It's, I'm yeah, sure right. it has a lot. Yeah, there's to a lot of it. fucking chemicals. And like just the way humans are living lives isn't natural. Not just the chemicals. That fucking but, that uh that uh yeah, dude. I don't know. There's so many chemicals. And, out there, dude. And that, uh, with that, I will say the caveat: there are demonstrable things, and there are demonstrably not things. Well, sorry, we're talking about like, soda and shit, like all the high fructose. Vaccines yeah. don't cause autism, for instance. I feel like a fucking, they don't. I feel like they a just fucking trucker pulling don't. Out, but I was so well, it's like it, the idea is is that you give them too fast, like your body's getting overloaded. So if you stagger it out on a more like you know not giving it to them all at once, that's 
kind of the idea of like the argument at least so it's not saying that they're bad for you but I'm just saying, want, like the, take them all at once, the only the only clinical study that showed any evidence of that <laughs> of any vaccine causing mm-hmm. autism was um, fabricated, actually. And so know. there's there's reasons I mean I I, I'm sure too, so. I'm sure it's probably not great to inject people with a bunch of shit. Don't get me wrong. I'm I, just saying that's why you stagger it out. You know? I yeah you know, I'm I'm a man of science, so I. Until it, it can be demonstrated to me scientifically. And I'm not saying it can't. I'm just saying until I've seen it demonstrated scientifically, I just leave my mind open to the interpretation. Yeah, but so far that I have seen, mm-hmm. it do- that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, now, on so, the other hand... Yeah, I've got, dude, i got shots. Exposure dude. to, mm-hmm. you know... Exposure to all of the things that we put into our environment look like, at like just us living in the apple industry dude and all yeah. the chemicals just yeah. from all the orchards yeah like, try getting some like water from a ago. well yeah, anywhere in the lower the valley from a golf course yeah well, i dude, can smell when they fertilize it you yeah know? so it's fucking gnarly dude. dan's house yeah. so well nowadays before I mean, they're still dropping chemicals on all that before shit. we lived it out at dan's house uh-huh. um so they they were on they have a well right they were on well water and they bit the 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 county, because mm-hmm. it's not an or- incorporated town, mm-hmm. so the county required them to hook up to the the water tower mm-hmm. and start paying for water. Mm-hmm. But because they went out there and tested all of those uh, all of those wells, yeah. and the fucking nitrate levels are off the fucking chart. Like, no, I know we had a problem out here, dude. When we first moved out here, we had to fucking put like fucking bleach in the fucking water and shit yeah dude. yeah because like, all of this is all orchard land so they before they knew anything about the detrimental effects of sport spraying a bunch of shit on the ground right. they just did it without any you know with reckless abandon or whatever so they don't give a fuck so now all this shit's fucked up and now it's funny you see the guys that are spraying the shit on the food that we're eating wearing full body suits and stuff yeah. you know yeah. and they like they always have a flagger on the road they like wave the flag to let the guy know there's like people someone walking by or somebody driving by stop stop spraying well dude there's a huge epidemic of, we eat that shit the same of shit kids born and the, well it's like why does it, an apple why can an apple last like two weeks dude like that well not like, only natural that, dude, food they, should be like not lasting. I had a friend. Yeah. Who wor- I had a friend who worked at an orchard, and yeah. they they don't just put stuff on it for that, but they also they put stuff on it so it has like it gets that perfect crown. That's why yeah. almost every apple you buy in the grocery store, while some may be larger than others, they all have the same relative shape, the same amount of points on the bottom. You know what I mean? Right. Like, well, and, that and monoculture, and it, it's all it's a sh- stuff that they they'll spray on it. It's it's crazy, man. Because I don't give a fuck. How, like, the wax they put on the apples? I'm not like, ooh, this is a shiny apple. I better buy this one. Same with tomatoes. <laughs> I've like, picked it. up tomatoes before my yeah. fingers have been greasy. Yeah. Because uh, of the shit they're spraying on it. Yeah. And I don't judge my produce on how shiny it is. I'm like, yeah. I feel it. That feels good. And Make sure All this good. shit is be- based off of psychological reactions of people, though. Mm. And that's the... That's the scary part. Like, but had we not ever done that, nobody'd know the difference, man. The bananas now are like made to be a certain color, even. And... Yeah. Mm. Well, actually, funny story. Bananas technically shouldn't even be edible. Yeah. Well, bananas are yeah. actually a created food. So bananas so, by like natural bananas, yeah, like yeah, actually well, naturally they're occurring a bananas. They're like a fucked up plant version of a plantain. Right? Well, no, they're they're they are a distinct. I mean, they are related to plantains, but they are a dis- distinct species. But they're full of seeds. Mm-hmm. Like, literally the whole banana is full of seeds. You yeah. can't get a banana that's that why... is clear and you just eat. And that's what makes it kind We of created a, very... a, be- a banana that doesn't have seeds in it. And that's the banana that everybody knows and eats. They like created well, even seed those, for it? Even those kind of... They created seedless bananas. Yeah. Much like there is seedless marijuana. It's feminized. Oh, okay. It feminized sense. the plant through right. the and process that, of... Okay, so that's... <clears throat> the process the of same thing. They do that to fish, too. I was just reading about it. Um, triploid, right? Am I saying that right? Triploid? Mm-hmm. It's like a triploid fruit. That's even how they, it, yeah. they introduce an extra set of chromosomes. Like, yep. not just one... Yep. yep. Not just one... A pair of extra chromosomes, right. I should say. And that's how they get that. 
I was just reading about that. They do that with fish. Interrupts too. the. So then the fish becomes asexual. They don't spawn. They don't breed. All they do is go around and eat and grow giant. So you can catch them. And it's so the well, that's how they, they do fish with, farming. That's yeah. No, the dogs, know, when they, yeah, no fish farming actually they, farming, they run the fish yeah, under UV sense. lights to kill the eggs that are in it so they can't oh. reproduce and they can and the reason they do that is because you'd think that they want to right? like even these these hatchery salmon and stuff because the salmon population is in trouble the the steelhead population is in trouble and they they have hatchery they raise them they cut off the what is it the adipose fin and that's how you know if it's legal to keep that or not when, when you catch it but before they release it they run it under UV lights mm. killing all the eggs and why is that? Really? That's just so that hatchery can stay in business. They can continue to make money. Because they would have stopped killing off all the eggs, and those trout could reproduce yeah. in those lakes. Those yeah. steelhead could naturally. reproduce. Yeah. Those salmon could reproduce. Rather than just put them there for nothing more than us to catch, let them pr- reproduce, yeah. dude. But th- it's a it's a money thing. It's a... Well, once again, true, capitalism. True that, yeah. If once we again, really want to fix it, strikes again. The other problem is, if we really want to <laughs> fix that. We have to get rid of all the dams. Mm. Well, yeah, for sure, for sure. But That's a totally different discussion. But quit killing the eggs and hatchery fish. So we just gotta go solar, dude. Everybody's just gotta go. Solar. Honestly, this is gonna be a, this is gonna sound controversial. Okay. But I don't know if you're all you're all for controversy. Nuclear. I got nothing else to do. We man. have Shit. to go nuclear. That's the only way. I've heard this argument uh, before. I've heard it. The problem is, is that everything that is cheaper than nuclear, or every everything that's cheaper than natural gas or gas, which are not renewable, mm-hmm. is nuclear. We can produce we can produce enough nuclear fuel, and we would have the technology to keep um, nuclear power plants safe exists there are plenty of nuclear power plants that are safe i remember um, driving past like one of those ones like you know it's, you see it in the simpsons i mean it's right? scary and it's, you see it and you're like holy shit that thing is fucking huge and it's you know don't get me wrong it's yeah. scary and one problem is that we still don't have a realistic solution for long-term storage of spent fuel mm. but that's here's problem. the thing though here's the thing though there's nothing else that we are going to, like solar, solar is never going to work unless we figure out a way to make enough batteries to be able to store power overnight. Yeah, now they're all having trouble. But guess what it. we have to do to get those? What? Some pretty insanely terrible shit, like... like blood diamonds and shit? Like, yeah, actually. <laughs> so... Like, you, okay, so the... The process in which they make those batteries, they need a, a shitload of lithium, right? Mm-hmm. Well, one of the one of the least abundant elements in the world. Guess what? Lithium. lithium. Yeah. So Not that's it. Yeah. I remember when Kirk Cobain well, talked too. about this. But there, no, there's other ways. To <laughs> it's go also go insanely poisonous <laughs> to mine. Yeah. There's, <laughs> I remember when Kirk Cobain talked about this. <laughs> oh God. Um, why do you think he shot himself? <laughs> He's like, I can't solve the world's problems. There, there's got to be other ways to go about solar, though, right? Like, well, without, without storing, just it being well, constantly renewed. I well, suppose that would depend on geographical location. Well, but. okay, here's your problem. So when the sun ain't shining, mm-hmm. solar don't work. Right, that's why geographical yeah, location is a play part. dude. Yeah. I'm just saying, like... No, I mean the so it works in the, it works in cloudy weather. Turbines, yeah. It still works in cloudy weather. Turbines are bullshit in the ocean. So and those are the big ones, right? That spin out in the okay. That we're seeing everywhere the sun. So, okay, yeah, I, I always so, those are like okay, yeah, maybe those but I think turbines windmills? are underwater. Or turbines so, are okay. underwater. So oh, one shit, one no. way one one thing that does kind of work okay. is geothermal, but again, it's dangerous. Two, are all about it, danger, dude. Let's two, it. the Go stuff nice that they guys. have to make that stuff out of to make it rugged enough not to be detrimentally affected by right. extreme heat okay. is really expensive and costs a lot of. Haven't you seen what Joe Biden's spending these days, dude? They just gotta get in line, dude. Gotta get. They gotta pitch it to the old man, dude. They gotta get in the office. Like, all right, President Biden, this is what we need to do. I haven't at all, actually. Dude, I'm, a, I'm an elected Democrat, lately, and, and fuck great. that asshole. What? I've kept up on zero news lately. I got off yeah. of I got off of social media, and I was still keeping oh, up yeah. with news. 
But oh, you're not missing that, a lot. Then I realized I that still was kind of messing with my psyche a little bit, too. Yeah. And I quit following news, dude. I have no idea what's going on in the world, but I know what's going on in mine. And well, it's Biden's fucking... falling to the pieces, dude. He's he's, he's like, going over to fucking, uh, you know, having shit, you know, talks with the Russian. He's, like, peeing in the corner. He's like, what, Martha? He's like, what? <laughs> Jill, come on. Calm down. I don't know. I don't pay that much attention to it, either. But I have to stop, man. It he's just... just... He is exactly what everybody expected. It's not real so, surprising. Hey, 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 Libya, Libya, oh no, no Syria. <laughs> I mean, I don't, know. I don't give a shit, dude. He's fine. He's fine. I mean, the one, the one difference is we don't have to hear fucking douchebags' voice every day. I wrote in Dwayne, which the is Rock great, Johnson. actually. actually. Quiet, yeah. I wrote in Dwayne the Rock Johnson for president. That's what's up, dude? No, I didn't. I should have though. I it's gonna been, happen, dude. I probably wouldn't have been the only person. I mean, did it. here's the yeah. thing. Here's the thing. I at this point, pff, fuck it. What uh, what difference does it make? I he ain't know, gonna do in, anything either. I wrote in Ron Paul in this here. state. Outside What's he gonna of, do? Like yeah. give 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 the government the people's <laughs> elbow? I mean, as long as we have the electoral college in this state, if you don't live in King County, your fucking voice doesn't, your vote doesn't carry any weight. Anyways. I just write in ballot and see. I don't, I don't well, local, actually, local elections are important, but those other ones do. No, local elections yeah. are very important. Important, and we, dude, holy <laughs> fucking Christ! So we need to get rid. We need to get rid of these crazy ass Republican dudes that are taking up all the positions yeah. in Yakima. Yeah. Oh, good yes. luck. Good luck with that one, Jason White. I think he took himself out. Is that guy still around? Fucking idiot still hasn't been doing. Oh meeting. no, you don't have you don't have to worry about. Well, that's Jason one thing about White. quitting Facebook. Dude. I don't see that guy. Dude, anymore. District Six though, uh, Sam Johnson. That's my my district for sure. Yeah. Johnson. Anyone in District Six. Ben Johnson's Easter. brother. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's a cool guy. I think He's a cool guy. You're out here, I don't think you get to vote City Council, huh? You're. I don't think You're so. Unincorporated. No, he, no, he, there. Right. He's outside of the city. It's fucking bullshit, yeah. dude. I don't even think I can do public access anymore. I'm county, bro. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I live in the county. Yeah, you're out of. Yeah. you're out of city limits for sure. <clears throat> yeah. No. Um. No, the. So like, take that, Mike Kakali. So there, <laughs> it, it's two, four, and six that are. Uh. Uh-huh. Having elections this time around. I don't two even is, know who's on the city Jason council, White, right? dude. Like, hmm? Two was Jason White's district, right? Yes. Yeah. And, uh... Dude, if he gets elected again, I will... Uh, I do actually... I think he's not going to get real. I will shoot myself. I do actually know... It's a 22. I do he's actually know something Mark interesting. So have you guys heard the, heard the name Garth McKinney? Yeah. No. Well, I've seen the signs. Well, oh, the name too, but man. I've seen the signs. I get way too high to pay attention to politics. So, uh... He's basically... Is he the one that got in trouble? I, I, yes. <laughs> but, here's the deal. Yeah, Jack Hennessy was texting me about that guy. So you know, the, he went to school with that guy, I guess. So, what? this is this is interesting, though. So, the story yeah. that was told by... I read the newspaper. The media and all that. He well, punched an old lady in the face. Well, allegedly. actually... Allegedly. So, here's the thing. Say all this allegedly. So, he has been... So, you know, most people would just... Stop talking about that and, like, go hide under a rock after something like that came out, right? Yeah. Well, he has been consistently posting about what actually happened. Oh, and his side of the story? Yeah. yeah. And, okay, now, mind you, I don't know exactly what to think. Uh-huh. What's but his, what's his side of the story? what he's done recently, uh, well, basically. Allegedly. So Allegedly. It, so, the altercation happened because there is a... Apparently, mm-hmm. this person's mother, who is the one that ca- like called the police or whatever, um, hates him for whatever reason, yeah. and has always tried to undermine their relationships and stay. Was he one. like cheating on her or something? Allegedly. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't even. Know. So he came out as gay. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I and yeah. the Republican Party in town mm-hmm. is trying to basically force him out. Oh, I don't think that's just in town. I think the Republican Party... Well, well I would, yeah. I would imagine him pulling that well, guy out. Wide, has but more to do with specific, that gay, though. specific to this situation. Yes. But he's still no, sticking with He pulled a gun out on somebody, didn't he? Well, no, he's not. He's sounds speaking. like a Republican, too. He's not. He's actually speaking out on it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and I mean, I, I, yeah. I'm all for guns. But he's kind I'm of like exposing people. people. 
Uh, like, well, you shouldn't be getting. He has a bunch of dirt. He has a bunch of dirt about people, including his yeah. political rival in the Republicans, um, yeah. Matt Brown. I don't know who that is. Well, You're like, Eric's it's, like, it's like, another I guy. Vendetta. I got a vendetta over here. I got a list of names. No, dude. It's <laughs> I'm so. What are, you, what, are you gonna just been... for, what are you going to run for city council, Eric? Actually, probably the next time that my area is coming up. When's that? Nice, dude. Uh, two years. Heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Vote well, Eric Smith at city council. What is going to be next to your name, though? What do you parentheses. mean? Breaking news. It's going to be a D. <laughs> it's going to be an R. <laughs> okay, so, city, so one thing you should know, city council is, non, that is, is, non-pol- is non-partisan. Partisan. Huh? But it yeah. clearly is it clearly, clearly is, yeah. but no, it is a nonpartisan right, office. Right. No, I get it, man. I so there won't be anything next to the name. I mean, dude, I'm, I'm an elected Democrat, Democrat right now. I am an it, hit me as much as you want, but I am the 15th legislative district representative. It's like, suck it. The suck state it. committee member. <laughs> suck it, Yakima. But, like, uh... <laughs> I do. You no. better, we better start scrubbing those spin this episodes before you fucking start running your name out there. I don't care, dude. I vote, I, I I'm gonna run a campaign too. that's straight up. I, I don't My campaign is to be like, look, like, well, you know, I'm tired yeah. of these old assholes tell, telling Careful, us dude, what they think the too. best thing is. You're getting old, too. Yeah, you're getting Yeah, too. but I'm, I'm cool, though. You're getting a little yeah. long in the tube there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're not that much young older than or younger than me, fucker. I'm thirty nine years old, mind you. Shit. We've probably all got some grays. I uh, definitely do. I know. Mm. Eric and I are both thin and I think you still got a healthy head. Fucking gray bush, dude. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only reason I'm growing my hair out. I've I never had long kinda, hair and it's yeah. definitely thinning. I tell people and they're like, Where? Let me see. Nope. It's like, dude, you can't you tell because you don't know. Tell. But I I declare know. that I'm not old until I've got a gray pube. <laughs> I have great chest hair. I don't. No have pierce. I don't. No great. I don't have great chest hair. Um, I get like I'm starting to get gray hairs right here. Yeah, I get them like around the chin. Shit. Yeah. I have some over here. I was noticing today when I was trimming my beard, I have a lot yeah. more than I thought. There's some over here. A lot of my mustache is gray now. I have a couple gray chest hairs. Yeah. Probably getting getting older. Dude. Yeah. You know, it's like hitting 40, so it's, uh, it's like, all right, I guess we can embrace this shit, you know? Hitting 40? You're not that old, right? You're Almost I think there. you're younger than I am, aren't you? Like thir- I'll be 36 this year. Oh, really? I just turned yeah. 35. Yeah, I, I turned 35 in December. God, so old. Happy birthday. Happy why don't you, birthday. Why don't you run for president already? You know, my brother, you guys we can literally 30th? all do that. You guys remember my 30th birthday? That? Do what? Remember my 30th birthday? That's when the cops came to my house. Was that your 30th birthday? Yeah. No shit, dude. Yeah, that's cool as fuck, yep. man. And the coolest picture that was of that you that I've ever you? seen oh, is you man. talking to the cops while standing there in that fucking dress. I wasn't just talking. We had that all on video, dude. I was arguing with them and yeah. making an ass out of what they were saying. <clears throat> Dan, Dan was fucking Dan, Dan, Dan was even better. And the guy's oh like, you gotta, you gotta get a... If you want to do something like this, you have to get a permit from the city. And he's like, oh, so kind of like a bribe. So like we give the city some money to do this and you, you guys don't bust us. And the cops all, yeah. And he's like... And then Dan's like... But we can't do that right here, right? Because then, like, it'd be too obvious of a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, sorry, man, we can't do Hey, want to walk around this corner? <laughs> Seriously, dude. But that, I mean, that's the truth. What yeah. What is that permit other than a bribe? It is a bribe. 100%. It's extortion, dude. Mm-hmm. It's 100%. I'm going to do this thing the on whole my way property. It's set up, dude. I'm going to do this thing on my property. Here's some money to not come and bust yeah. me, okay? That's all that permit is, dude. Yeah. It's a bribe for the cops to leave you alone. Everything, all your city loan applications, anything hey man, you gotta file. Freedom with the city. isn't free. And then it I was also, folks I like was also told that even if I had that, I pay taxes bag, here. Okay. I was also told that even if I had that permit, that uh-huh. the cops would still be able to shut me down. I mean, I was told that by cops. Yeah. So they are probably wrong, but. Maybe. All right, boys. Maybe. Oh shit, son! It's getting lit, dude. It's like Literally. going in that second hour, man. We're like, fuck. Get lifted, lifted, look. I rarely smoke weed anymore. I'm gonna get fucked up. Mm-hmm. I smoke weed. I smoke. I think I've been smoking too much weed. I've been uh psychedelics like once a month over the last little while, and it's dude, it's done me wonders. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's great from it. That's good. No, yeah. Not always big amounts, you know. I mean, not too long ago, I had just a, just a half a tab of acid. It wasn't. Enough. I didn't trip or anything, yeah. but I felt great all day. I was noticeably on acid, but I was, you know, I could have gone about my day and gotten anything done I needed right. to. 
but it gives me like six to eight weeks after I do it, like just good, like it's mellow and shit. Just good yeah. outlook on life, man. Yeah. Like I feel good about things. Not you know. Well, they say like microdosing, man. It's supposed to like you know. Mm-hmm. Contrary to Brandon Allen's opinion, but it's supposed to be. I know, man. Brandon Allen's opinion. I'm like, dude, I, when I do mushrooms, I just like to do a little bit. And he's like, oh, come on. Do come five on. hits. Let's eat a quarter of mushrooms. I'm like, dude, I'll eat like four mushrooms, okay? And God, you know, bless. On God I, bless Brandon Allen. On Alex. occasion, I still will indulge and trip. I did this not too long ago. We aren't going to talk about that on here because. Yeah. It's. I, uh, yeah, I mean. Illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Well, isn't it like it's becoming decriminalized a lot more? Yeah, I think we'll see it soon. <coughs> Oregon just got it decriminalized. I think we're, yeah. we're going to see it soon. Oh, for sure, dude. What's for great sure. about that, though, is now you can have... Well, drugs are basically So people have already been now. studying it all these years, you know? To, that's how we know it, it is therapeutic. Like, there uh, have been studies, but yeah. nothing's ever been able to legally get published on it. Yeah, it, the same thing with weed and stuff. Without the risk yeah. of, you know, the person publishing the article getting arrested, arrested. for administering and... Whatever else, right. you know, distributing well, it's, maybe it's, even who knows. I don't the know. War on drugs is such bullshit, but, dude. It's oh, it like is. we talk about, you know, you know, freedom isn't free. I mean, it's a complete racket right there, dude. You yeah, know, it's like you know, for profit prisons. You know, it's yeah. What? How long have we been operating this way? Like a lot of people got rich off that. Well, shit, here's dude. the thing, dude. Even non profit. For- it's like for-profit prisons and just prisons in general. Like, look, look at the, All that is is just a is a carryover from slavery. Yeah, definitely. That's why you see like, harsher sentences on when, black people. There's yeah. Also, like you buy produce at Walmart, that's prisoners growing that. Maybe, maybe not every single thing you get in there, but a lot of it is prisoners. There's a lot of things made by a prison labor. A certain company I know has a statement about prison labor that they say. We only we only do it in the states that it's legal. Well, of course, as long as it's legal where you're doing it. Then. Not. Yeah. We don't like prison labor, or Just we shy away, away from yeah. prison labor. Yeah. We only do it where it's perfectly legal for us to do so. Allegedly. We only don't do it in states that it's not legal because it's not legal. Right. But we would if we could. It seems like I don't know. I mean, I don't know, like how how often how like how, how much are these people like in prisons? Like every prison has something that they produce. Well, I don't think yeah. everyone does, but I'm well, I'm sure something, yes, but like it just depends on. The state. I don't know. I've also heard Florida. That, let's get. Let me guess. Florida. Fuck I've, it. I've also heard that um, <laughs> most of the conservative states, Victoria's yeah, Secret, Alabama, their, their shit, a lot of their shit's stitched by inmates. I've heard. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess you're getting fucked either way. I mean, it's either that or you got, you know, in Chinese nope. labor camps. <laughs> and I know for a fact, because I, I have a friend. Well, we have that too. It's yeah. just not here. I have a friend who was yeah. in prison and um, he... he uh, Only in the countries in which that's legal. Right. He made some computer, some uh, cell phone apps, though. Mm-hmm. So I know apps are, are oftentimes made by prisoners and stuff, too. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I'm, yeah... I mean, if you got the time, dude. I mean, that's what they should be doing is just, you know, instituting, like, just... You yeah, know, but they also reform. don't get paid for said labor. Sure, but that, yeah. that gives them incentive to get people in there, though. Yeah. No, I know. I know. I know. And that's a problem. A lot of people are like, well, they're good. They did something wrong. They should be doing something. And, and sure. for-profit no, prisons? I, I sure, was, a lot of yeah. times that's right, but that, that gives... What I was, I was to trying to say is just like reform in the sense of like giving the opportunity to like complete education. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, like for sure. Like that. That, that stuff's good. I don't, yeah, probably, I mean, you know, because yeah, you get paid cents on the dollar for that. A huge shit. problem with that, too, though, is extortion, sure that. You know, or not extortion, but, uh, you know. People will go into um, prison as a, a high school dropout and, and leave there with a college, college degree. Yeah. But. You have to fill out a fucking background mm-hmm. request almost everywhere you work. And if right. you have a felony. You you're know, fucked. You're, you're fucked. And yeah, you're you're gonna be working and you're gonna be a fucking cook or you, like not mm-hmm. not not in every not in every um, case. But I've been working in restaurants for a while, and dude, it's full of fucking felons in the kitchen. It's mm-hmm. yep, and it's sad because it, like cooking's awesome. There's nothing wrong with people who cook. But well, it's bullshit. Like like once you get a felony, like what you get like your voting rights taken away and you get yeah, your gun yeah, rights gun taken away. Like, and... I think that I don't know. I mean, I mean, if it's a nonviolent thing, dude, like I don't. To see why you should be have that shit taken away, you know. Yeah. Although, know. um, they are uh, at least now in Washington State. Um, as soon as you're out of mm-hmm. supervision for a felony, yeah, 
your voting rights are automatically yeah. reinstated. Okay. Yeah, isn't that new? Didn't he just Yeah, like, yeah was, I remember hearing that. It's like passed that a couple of years ago. That's actually years, cool. Right? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I remember when yeah, that happened. That's cool. Now, a lot of people worked really hard to get that one passed in Washington State. Now if we could just... Uh... A lot of people have mixed feelings on guns and gun rights, but now if we could just get gun rights for felons reinstated, and not all, like you yeah. were saying, violent, yeah, I say violent felons, violent. probably not, violent. probably yeah. not. But yeah. dude, if you're just in there because you, you fucked up, are a really good hacker, and you yeah. you, you got caught for some fraud because you transferred a bunch of money into your own bank or whatever the fuck, you know, you're right? You can't own a gun now. That that's silly. That's really honestly silly. like I. Uh... I did a bunch of research into gun rights, and, like, while I am, I, I totally agree with that, like, you know, felons that, say, uh, committed their felony with said weapons, uh-huh. like, yeah, they probably shouldn't have. Yeah, no, they shouldn't. But, <laughs> they shouldn't probably other have than weapons. that, <laughs> other than that, yeah. like, I don't like this, you know. There's like this big push. Oh, ban assault weapons, blah 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 blah. Yeah. All that. No. Until you assault uh, somebody with your there's... weapon, is it an assault weapon? Well, it's, here's the really, thing. I don't even. It's like ar- to call it's, my guns weapons. They're, it's they're arbitrary. Guns, is it stupid dude. as fuck to yeah. have an AR-15 so that you can go hunting? Yes, that's stupid. But you as can't fuck. hunt with an AR-15. And do you know what? I have a 22 rifle, which you can hunt. Like, small is it game. is it that's stupid what, to you know? But do you know what a 22? What an AR-15 is, dude? I have a 22 aut semi-auto rifle. As yeah. Fast as I can pull that barrel, yep. it'll fire. Pop, 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 pop. But yeah. it has a wood stock. It has a little lever. 22s it are it awesome. Looks like a traditional gun yeah an ar-15 is just a fancy version yeah. of that dude yeah. yeah it has a fold-out stock it looks scary well and that and that's it's, the whole and i can turn mine as fast as i can pull that trigger i can turn that into mm-hmm. kind of fully auto i can create a bump stock with my shoelace mm-hmm. with yeah. enough blades of grass that it's i can twist over here <laughs> well no it's just not that hard to do well, like just, yeah. The thing you is, just put something there so it doesn't close, and then it uses the the recoil to cock itself again. Well, here's the as thing: if you're pulling the trigger, but it's just bouncing right. with one trigger pull. Here's the thing: like we're not addressing the root issue as to why guns are a problem. Mm. Like, and as, as much man. as I hate to agree with the meatheads that are like, "Whoa, blah, 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 the 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 person didn't kill some," you know. The gun, the, the gun didn't person. kill anyone. The, the person pulling the trigger did. You're in Texas now. Okay. It's kind of true. But, yes, and as much as I hate to agree with folks like that, the the fact of the matter oh, is... Eric does have a soft side for Republicans. <laughs> not really. It's like, I fucking hate My, I got that list, dude. <laughs> well, what, really, what it really comes down to is there's just no point... Similar to the war on drugs, uh-huh. there's no point to really trying to ban anything 100%. because people are going to get it one way or another. Mm-hmm. If there's some psychopath dude that wants to go shoot up someplace, they'll find a gun to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, we'll just bring two gun, two pistols that have eighteen fucking round clips. I mean, well, it's not a, what's I mean, the difference right, between so that and having an assault rifle that has eighteen clips? Okay, so. You know, assault yeah. rifle again until you assault somebody. It's not an assault rifle. Right. It's just a rifle. So I own a I own a rifle. Assault style. I own a rifle. Yeah. Would you like it. that in assault style or classic? I say I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I say I, I like a, the classic rifle myself. I say I own a rifle, but I don't own it. I just it's my dad's, and I I I as far as I know, I'm the only one that's ever hunted with it. Definitely the only one that's ever killed a deer on it. But anyways. I can turn that gun into something so much more dangerous than it is. It has a three-round magazine. I could put one in the chamber and then have the magazine in it and have four. But I can also buy things to change that. And that is so much. That weapon right there. That weapon. I said I don't call it that. <laughs> that gun right there is a would be a way more powerful weapon if you were to choose to use it as that. Yeah. Than an AR-15. It's crazy that AR-15s have all this attention because they're like not more likely to die from a twenty-two bullet than anything else. A twenty, so an AR-15 is a, is a twenty-two. Yeah, either shoot. I mean, it can shoot, but it's like things, a but LR, though, that, right? It, well, it's so it's like a twenty-two bullet with a bigger like casing, right? 
So it shoots faster. And the battery. H- harder. And yeah. Probably a little more accurate. A lot of them. Not all of them. I've shot ones that weren't accurate. They just, I was just the way they I was I'm sure they've been used for that. Yeah. Well, Ray's got a really, a, it's it's a, a really modifying. fun fucking 22 yeah. rifle. Yeah. It's like just a little fucking. Mine's it's got, got like a is like red dot bullet, sight dude. and fucking. Yeah. Mine's just like load one bullet in. Ding, it. ding, ding. So my 22 yeah. will take the, 20. I think yeah. this holds like. And I can shoot 10, 20 so. rounds as fast as I can pull my finger 20 times. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, yeah it, dude. <laughs> it's the same thing as an AR-15. Yeah, yeah it doesn't it matter. It's the same round. Right. It's different casing. Not not always. A lot of... I don't know. Yeah. Wait, There's man. so many different AR-15s. <laughs> it know, just like, doesn't... They're not, they're not even all AR-15s. Yeah. It's like a very... <clears> but what I'm saying is, just like the war on drugs, trying to ban anything is just not really realistic yeah i mean it just doesn't work Mm -mm. especially considering the fact there's a shitload of that out there already Mm -hmm. so what are you gonna do you're gonna go door to door and collect all of the (laughs) no you're not don't you know no it's that's also that's why there's that saying (laughs) she's gonna dress up like santa come and take them Uh, yeah i mean it doesn't though and it'll never happen. That's the thing. They're always like, don't vote for a Democrat. They're trying to take away the guns. No, no they're the fuck not. they aren't, dude. I, yeah. I hate Democrats. And yeah. I hate Republicans, too. Well, it's just like you I said. I mean, they're not going to, like, there's so many guns here. I mean, like, you do look at the countries that don't have, like, guns. And you kind of, like, I mean, if you kind of compare, like, the way, like, the lockdowns were handled. I mean, it was a little bit more strict in, like, your Australia's, your UK's, even Canada, sure, dude. But- and like, well, Canada's not too much different. America, they're like, yeah, we can only fuck you with you to a point, but you guys still got guns, so Canada, calm down. Canada has <laughs> guns too. Well, they, they have pretty similar, this way. similar laws to what we yeah. have in gun ownership per capita. Per Nobody took guns. the Black yeah. Panther seriously uh, until they walked up in that courtroom with fucking rifles and were like, uh, "Fuck you." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, when the guys that are supposed to protect you and are enforcing the laws have guns, shouldn't we too? Here's the here's we the thing, dude. You shouldn't sure. have to rely on somebody. Here's to the thing. You. Protect the, yourself. The yeah. largest move, like the lo- largest, <laughs> you can't trust those guys with the guns to protect. The them. largest human rights yeah, movement. They, they've proven that they're not there to protect you. They use them on people, yeah. and you could be one of them, dude. Check it out. So, the largest human rights protest in the history of the world happened last year. Fucking Seattle, fucking uh-huh. Chop, Chaz, Chop, yeah. shit, mm-hmm. all that that went down, like. That's the biggest thing that's ever happened. And, I mean, there was protests all over the world. Yeah. But, like, you know, that, the the George Floyd thing, like, I mean. I saw the aftermath. Really, really insane. I mean, I so we found this guy named Omari Salisbury. Uh-huh. And he, um, he, like, videoed the whole fucking thing from start to finish. Yeah. And... He had the he has this company called Converge Media, and like they had just gotten started a few months before that whole thing fucking happened. Mm-hmm. But like he was ch- like literally he was chilling in his apartment one day, and somebody called him and was like, "Hey, so there's something happening down you know down on Fifth, um, you know by the police station down there." And he showed up down there with his phone and just started recording. Mm-hmm. And then that was the night of the fucking. So, ah, the, I'm gonna put on my press the, hat now. <laughs> so that that was the first night, and then the next night was the pink umbrella incident that happened. Ah, uh, and he was right at the front, like literally standing in front of that person. I, I don't know how much you know about those Seattle protests, yeah, but I, I didn't have internet at that time. Holy so I was fuck! In, like, dude, I was like all catching cool. everything. I was, like, I was watching. So I was following Amari at first too. So like. The, he was always always out on the front lines. Yeah. So okay. So you what usually happens with protests is like people will protest and then the cops will like threaten to you know blah 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 the disperse disperse. Pull the dogs we'll out. show your well you know we'll <laughs> fucking yeah. spray some pepper spray try yeah. to fucking push people back whatever. Right. Well, on this occasion, they like 
were trying to do that and people were standing their ground because mm-hmm. all of the people that were at that protest live in that area. Right. Like, the, literally, this isn't just, like, random it's people like neighborhoods coming. coming yeah. yeah. This is, like, literally people coming out of their houses and into the streets. Mm-hmm. And so, like... They got angry because people wouldn't fucking back down. And they, like, people were being nonviolent. They were yeah. just standing there, standing their ground. They ripped. So this person had an umbrella because it, it's common to keep umbrellas at the front of a protest because when That's cops start shooting shit, yeah. like, you don't get hit in the face, yeah, basically. That makes sense. So uh, this cop ripped a fucking umbrella out of this person's hand. And then they just started indiscriminately shooting fucking uh, grenades and fucking, um, like, the, the flashbang grenades right. and uh, the uh, gas grenades into the crowd, like, point blank at people. And people stood their grounds. And, I mean, it was fucking insane. Do you he stayed there bullets? all night. Have you ever seen a rubber bullet? So you would think rubber bullet, like bullet, right? Like that big. No, rubber bullets are like. Yeah. Ugh. They break they're, bone. They're compressed and then. They hit you yeah. at regular gun speeds, but it's like it will it'll like break your fuck ribs you if it hits yeah, you. Yeah, I'll fuck you up, dude. And they were sh- like, there were people standing in front with their backs turned. Dog. To, yeah. to take all of those bullets yeah, yeah, so yeah. that the reporters videoing it didn't get hit. Oh, at least there is a... Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, this noble, is... This, like, it's, it's noble, that's, man, for sure. And you didn't... This wasn't on, like, media. This wasn't on the news. This was this guy reporting mm-hmm. this shit on Facebook Live. Yeah. Like... Dude, those protests so, helped, though. So one of the... Obviously, like, the, <clears throat> the George Floyd case, like, that... That pig's going to jail. <laughs> yeah. The other three will probably go to prison too. I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> I'm stoned. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, my favorite part, like, was like when like CNN would be out there and people would be walking by, be like, "Fuck CNN!" Oh, I remember. Fuck I, CNN. <laughs> I remember where I was going with it. Okay. Um, I so love people that were shit. saying that uh, <clears throat> that the protests and whatnot throughout the country influenced the verdict. And his his lawyers calling for like a mistrial and stuff. Because, yeah, but you know what I have to say if it if it influenced the verdict, they're not gonna they're not good. Gonna fucking that means the protest worked. Did. Am I right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the entire point of the protest <clears throat> for that. Yeah. Like, good. well, that and you had good to know that, that influenced it. you had to know that they had if, to set an example. If they rule the other way. People would have fucking oh, yeah, burned exactly. the shit to the and fucking the fact ground. That they know that good, also. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, everybody's just like, like uh, this is uh, worked and keep it going. Yeah, like the yeah. shit can't. It, well, now they're charging those stop. cops in Tacoma. I mean, yeah, it's gonna because it, of the protests in, in Tacoma. It set a fucking precedent for sure, and then it's long overdue. With yeah. the way these cops have been treating people for fucking mm-hmm. decades, man. Like forever yeah. I mean, Crazy. there's that other cop from the same from Minneapolis also that shot that dude remember she thought it was mm-hmm. her taser uh-huh. and shot the oh, dude in the yeah, rib with yeah. her gun yeah and she's like oh shit I shot him right after yeah, she she's did it she's gonna get tried yeah yeah which dude you know you fuck up you fuck up mm-hmm. you know you should be held accountable and which they haven't been held accountable yeah. for a very long time I mean, I mean if it I was an it. intentional murder yeah. then it was manslaughter I hear it all over though. People plain and like, simple. There's, yeah. it's open and shut. There's no. I hear yeah, people they, all the time. They're like, it's like the, it's like the, the, it's like the, uh, uh, the far, the vaccine companies. You know, they're they're you can't sue them. You know, in case of injury or something like that, right? Yeah. They have like immunity. Well, the cops have had immunity forever. Dude. Yeah. So I didn't mean to cut you off. I know it's all right. I think I was trying to. I was cutting you off. Um, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Qualified immunity, man. Fuck that. Yeah. yeah. yeah fuck that, dude. No, you fuck that. You can't just be held li- non-liable for a fucking situation that you caused. And you know what? I, I've i been Im- impressed to see is like it, a lot of this is younger people. Mm. Yeah, Younger no. people are like, yeah. get it. Yeah. Mm. Well, with each generation, it got like, you know, better and better, you know, so. Like pe- it makes sense. People want to talk shit about. It makes sense that people would, you know. Because like, you know, people are pretty fucking on. Pretty smart, you know shit like that it's just interesting though that people want to talk shit about like the 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 now 16 to 24 year olds like oh well they're blah 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 they're so woke blah 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 
Like, no, they're just, like, they have the internet and they've been able to figure out a more mm. rea- realistic v- version of the world uh, than previous generations. Yeah. That's true. That good were point. not able to That's good point. B- grow up in. Like you go to school, you get shown whatever they show you at school. You know, yeah. it's not the internet where you have. Well, you can what look you at you several different sources. And say, oh well, Britannica. You know, oh we updated version two thousand one. Prime example. Oh, Pearl Harbor was a complete surprise. Nobody yeah. knew. Well, it's like the Vietnam. The way they taught Vietnam was, you know, but that was all fucking bullshit. You know. Yeah, like, yeah. The government's well, know. the line. You know. For, I know uh, a lot of kids from everything. Tonkin Golf incident. Anyone? Yeah. Hey, I know kids from elementary school, False like flags, low yeah. into elementary school, into like late into high school, and mm. like the things that they do, the things that they've been taught. It is completely different than us. Yeah. Well, look and at the look at the like opinion of like they don't really do reports. Now. Right. They don't you do know, reports. Like, we used to have to do reports and yeah. like, you know, we got the encyclopedia and looked mm. at that. I, yeah. None of them, as far as I know, have ever had to really do anything. Well, like what do they? Whoa. What do they do? What do they do now? I don't, well, they all like research it together in class, oh. from what I understand. It's like more and then, orientated. Yeah. Okay. Rather than like, you go to the library, right? And you have to, you know. Yeah, because they well, yeah, you have the internet. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember it was like a privilege, you know, to like use the use the computers. Like, yeah. oh, you're Kevin. You've been selected to write your report up on a computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah no shit. I think a lot of the reason for that though is like yeah. the information can be so broad now. With, yeah. With the internet, you yeah. Get so many different viewpoints rather than just the just the one. The one encyclopedia the that was yeah. inside of your library at school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It all said like 1960 something on, you know. <laughs> yeah. I went to, the elementary school I went to did. Like, oh, so. This is in the 90s. So it's like mid 90s yeah. and it's like, dude, this thing's like 30 years old. Like tips for bloodletting. Like in high school, <laughs> high, well, by the time we got to high school, computers were pretty relevant, but. Yeah. Definitely elementary school. But they were, st- I mean, it was still like relatively. I mean, like, they had more computers. Wikipedia than they did existed, when we, when we but you could. In fifth grade, dude. In fifth grade, it was the one computer, dude. Yeah. But, like, by high school, dude, they like, like, had, like, 20 of them. Wikipedia shit. existed, but you couldn't use it as a source. No, it's a lot more reliable now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You had to provide sources and shit for your fucking reports. Yeah. Fucking hyperscript and bullshit. Yeah, I'm glad I. I don't know. I'm glad I don't have to go to school. Like sometimes you're like, I don't know, it'd be I, cool to go to school. Like, it was like, fun to go I back to college, dude. Hated school, dude. I hated yeah. it so much. College was way different. I think I would like college. I don't know. I've thought about college. Yeah. You pick the classes you want to take, and you're like, whoa, whoa. Like geology was fucking I'm lazy insane. I'm though, dude. I'm so. I thought about seeking out a law degree, not to become a lawyer, but to. I'm gonna take a nap before I do. Honestly, this. we should be, we should all become <laughs> treatment counselors and make our own treatment center. Hell no, then I'd have to. We actually know. help people instead of fucking. Like whoa whoa. No. I don't what kind of charity do you think I'm running here? <laughs> you can't help people. They have to help themselves. You have to let people do what they want. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's what we, I would basically do. Providing the facility. You want to do room. math? Fucking do math, dude. But yeah, when you're ready to not do math, tell me. He's like, nah, that, that, that's what you want to do. Like that kind of attitude with it. It's like that no, might work. No, literally, I'm just gonna be like, look, man. So here's the deal. So for you. you're in treatment for drugs. If you want to be in treatment for drugs, then you probably would have been here before you got in jail and put in jail for it. Right. Um, but if you do really want to quit drugs, then just quit. And yeah, it sucks ass, and you're gonna feel like shit, and I don't it might easy for everyone. Well, it's not, but. Basically, the situation is what we really need to do is we need to have more scientific treatment for shit like that. Yeah. And, like, that's what's happening with the, the changing of the, um, like, decriminalizing shit. Right. Is that instead of putting people into, putting people into jail immediately, they're referring them to treatment at least twice first. And then... Not uh, only that, you can publish scientific findings without, you know, present time. But really what needs to happen is we need to encourage the actually more effective ways of treating people because um, they... So data recovered from um, 
AA internal, like, internal statistics uh-huh. says that um, AA has a 5% sober rate. Mm. Which basically means that after a year's time, 5% of pretty, people are sober. Yeah, which means yeah. it's pretty ineffective. Well, and yeah. guess, so guess what the background, like, the, the just the average altogether of people not in AA is. Five percent. If this is so anonymous, though, how, how where's the information coming from? Well, it's not anonymous. That's exactly. the whole thing. Yeah, it's exactly. They're anonymous in that they don't make like political statements, and that's about it. They should like they should introduce like you know microdosing and psychedelics to these people so they can like work through their problems. Because typically, a lot of these people <laughs> like are actually to, like due to like family. Funny story like, about that. Shit. So, so the, the doctor. Yeah. So, okay, AA was created by a doctor and yeah. an alcoholic guy. And they were both alcoholics, but one of them was a doctor. So, you know what? Well, <laughs> later in life, the doctor had discovered that it seemed to be that LSD helped a lot of people yeah. cessate alcohol consumption. Yeah, I've heard that shit, man. And that a couple of trips could basically break you of alcoholism. Yeah. And he, be- he believed that firmly. And... Because of that, they like, like, I believe it. Basically, like, try to distance themselves from him yeah, in his later that's life. That's unfortunate. So that's... here's a guy that actually discovered something uh-huh. that could potentially help people, and they wanted no part well, of that. This is like the cure for cancer. I mean, you know, it's you know, it's like it's it's probably out there, but are they sharing it with us? I mean, I don't know. Like I don't Dude, know. We're just if, if money, if money is to be made, if money is to be made in the situation, dude, they're going to exploit it to the to every fucking. It's like you know, squeeze it for every fucking last dollar, man. They're fucking assholes like that. <laughs> I don't know. I was, what's wrong with the world, man? Everybody seen, just wants money. I've seen many miraculous things with people taking fucking THC oil. Even yeah. if let's say that um, smoking weed did cure cancer, like you said, when you're smoking things causing cancer. Does that even matter? Well, what's interesting about that is that every study that's ever been done about people that just smoke marijuana Mm -hmm. but don't smoke cigarettes, um, they have never been able to demonstrate a single person that got cancer after smoking only marijuana. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about those people. It doesn't mean... They're the ones who do smoke cigarettes. It doesn't mean that that's necessarily impossible but it is an interesting statistic nonetheless well it's, a, it's again like, it's like the you know we're talking earlier man like the scientists are now just able to start testing it so yeah and that's the other like, thing we'll have more 10 data. years they're gonna have like a more of a so, you know more certainly of a better eye on like just more data are, gives you a much, yeah. much more accurate you know yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah. which but i mean like you said though i mean so far so good not that i trust the government but it would be nice to get like mm. a more trusted accurate when you get a dosage of lsd yeah. it's a dose you know what i mean not like well, that's the way it should be well like that's had, why that's ta- why you know, i've had some yeah. tabs where it's supposed to be a dose and it's like not that much and i've taken well, other just like single you're, you're, tabs you're, where it's like i'm out of my mind billy doesn't know what he's it? doing all the time dude. he's like oh, well and that's 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 was initially the idea of regulating drugs yeah. is right. that you could be provided a drug that you knew to be safe because what happened during sure, prohibition so put it in the government's hands so, so basically what happened is a lot of a I lot of people got together <laughs> so okay prohibition was an interesting time in our yeah. country because what happened was they made obviously they prohibited the a lot of moonshine <laughs> they prohibited the pr- production of alcohol mm-hmm. and when they did that, people started making alcohol. So yeah, the black market, still, man. People were fucking black market up. basically exploded. Yeah, um, that created these massive cor- crime organizations that you know. So literally many of my all favorite they movies did. are influenced by these people. Yeah, I mean mobsters. I mean <laughs> yeah, that's what they did. Love the mafia movie. Fucking man. selling, the, selling the shine. You know. I wish I could have lived during the you know when the mafia ran. Vegas, dude. Like, I don't, right? want, I don't want this corporate bullshit, dude. I want to go. But now, you know, I want to go see some Frank Sinatra, man. But a lot of people died from bad liquor. No, I know. Yeah, and I know. bad liquor. When 
Yeah. Like liquor with fucking strychnine in it or whatever left over from the brewing process. It's kind of like, uh, like how today we have, um, what's the fucking fentanyl? It's kind of yeah. like that in a sense. Yeah, but much worse than that because it was like literally just badass sick chemicals. Yeah, well, I get that. It. But I mean in the sense that it just randomly off to you. Yeah, you know? yeah. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. And I mean, you know, I had speakies and shit like that, illegal drinking spots and whatever. And it was interesting during COVID, we, we kind of had a speakeasy comedy open mic because they weren't supposed to be running shows, but we were running shows for like from March to like fucking, you know, before it started. Was I mean, to a couple of things, a couple of bars that were open and they shouldn't be. Yeah. No one's wearing masks. It's pretty cool. It's like you walk in, you're like, wow. Went to a show another place. Yeah. Uh, I've said too much. <laughs> They don't know where it is. No. But shit, man, that shit's going away, right? Yeah. Yeah, shows are fucking back, dude. People are back, dude. Like, we're yeah. full capacity. Like, people are going to go to... Wally's. Fucking... Wally's yeah. is going to start out with shows yeah. again. I'm waiting for uh, Defy to start up, dude, for wrestling up in Seattle. So, I don't know, dude. It's uh, it's booming, dude. I mean, shows are getting announced, like, pretty much every day, it seems like. Yeah. Ray's, Ray's yeah. texted me. He's like, fucking... Ranson, like, Dropkick Murphys are playing in October, I saw. Yeah. Um, yeah. I imagine tours are gonna... Yeah, they're picking ...really up. start picking up. And they're gonna well, they be have to, man. Those, cool those people got starts. fucked over, man. Like, that was their... I think there's gonna be another, shit, uh... Like, uh, Punk and tour. Yeah, probably. I mean, they announced the Euro- the European shows already. Like, yeah. Like, for next year or whatever. Um... I know, that shit was funny, dude. No effects was gonna play fucking, uh... Punk Rock only this year. But apparently they're getting a lot of hate mail yeah. still from people from Vegas. Death threats. Yeah, they get death threats. Jesus. Jeez. Yeah. It's fucked up, dude. People never seen no effects yeah. before. I think it's the first time Fat Mike's ever been offensive, you know? Like, let's cancel him now over that. No shit. Dude, he said so much worse yeah. and people don't ever... Uh, it's fucking hilarious to me. Yeah. Well, it's like fucking Melvin the was the one that said it. It wasn't even fucking Fat Mike. Fucking, I'm gonna get hate mail and death threats for this probably too, but I thought what he said was fucking it was hilarious. Funny. It's funny. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I don't know. Like, you can't make fun <laughs> I of it. thought it's it like was funny. It's like when the Dixie Chicks got fucking canceled. <laughs> Boo! It's like, fuck, oh shit. Yeah. Now I've, they're the chicks. Yeah. I've said the story on the podcast before, but like one time I went up on stage and it was like right after like El Paso, like there was a shooting at El Paso Walmart, uh-huh. and I made the joke. I was like, "Well, now we know the next title of uh, GTA Six, El Paso." Like, I, don't know, I said something like that, and like I heard like booze from the back. I was like, "You fucking dicks!" <laughs> <laughs> and I just slammed the microphone. I was like, "Fuck you, Mike Falk, motherfucker." <laughs> I don't know. So I guess that's where we got ended, guys. We're fucking hour twenty-seven, fucking a, dude. So. If people are listening today, the day this drops, Friday, June eighteenth, where are you guys gonna be this evening? Uh, Bunks Bar and Grill, or Fucking Barred Pizza, or Pizza in whatever. Yakima, Washington, nine eight nine nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's where Shit, Hot Nation used to be. Hell is that yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. Shit. All right. Hell yeah. Live music. Music track. starts at seven thirty. I probably won't be able to swing it, but maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I know, like, I would, dude, I was all gung-ho to go to it when you guys had it originally scheduled scheduled on the, the 12th there, so. Not my, yeah, yeah. The, we didn't know the health department, or the. See? The you department had to, you, had to bribe the, you had to bribe the health department to have a show, nope, man. it was the like, department yeah. of uh, gotta make liquor and cannabis. Going. Sorry. Yeah, are you allowed That's to smoke cannabis there? That's all your too. It's a bribe. Hey, cops, don't so, shut so, down for selling alcohol. So now, that, can you get a license to have like to be to have people smoke weed there? You can't do that yet. Nope. That needs to fucking happen now, dude. Fuck. That's what I think. Yeah. We used There's to actually smoke cigarettes everywhere. Yeah, we used right. To, to smoke weed everywhere yeah. now. <laughs> I've never like I don't know like my walls don't turn yellow from. You can do it if you have a, a private party. <clears throat> oh, can you? But you can't. You have to have like the it not open to the public. Shit, dude! All my business is open to the public, man. So what if Shit. what if you have a one dollar annual membership fee? Then it's a private. Then you club. can then you can have a, a private room. I'm gonna need. That's what that place money. in Olympia did. So loophole. Yeah. Is what you're saying. That's what that place strippers. in Olympia did. You smoke cigarettes and okay. weed in this room and just have a giant exhaust fan that just yeah. clears it all, so it doesn't even matter. 
Don't forget the strippers. With a one dollar annual membership fee, is that a? I don't know about cigarettes, but I know that there was Again, a. You need a Jamie. I think you actually, yeah. Out. You gotta pull it up, dude. Jory, Jory, yeah. get over here. <laughs> we didn't even want to sit him there with a the computer, dude. Wait, we're way past the ending now, right? We're way past. I'm gonna keep going on forever, dude. It's the podcast that never ends. That'll be the name of the podcast. <laughs> We put it like out, like you see some of those, dude. Like Rogan does, like three hour podcasts every time. We, we did an hour and a half, dude. <laughs> Joe Rogan would call us a bunch of pussies right now. <laughs> Joe Rogan. All right, Joe. See you guys later. Peace. Peace. This podcast has been brought to you by Pizza Productions. <laughs> <laughs>